A bipartisan group of American lawmakers returning to the U.S. today after going to Mexico to meet with Mexican President Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador. Yeah, that's right. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap joins us live near the U.S.-Mexico border. And Shelby, you spoke with two of our local congressional leaders who met with the Mexican president. What did they have to say? Yeah, well, Andy and Natasia, Congressman Tony Gonzalez and Congresswoman Veronica Escobar both telling us that that conversation with the president of Mexico lasted for hours. Now, Congressman Gonzalez saying that a topic that he brought up to the president was about the Americans missing in Mexico. There are Americans that are that are missing in Mexico. And I asked for uh, I asked for the president's help in helping identifying and, and helping us, uh, you know, relocate those Americans. The delegation to Mexico was led by Texas Republican Senator John Cornyn, who said the group met with intelligence, drug enforcement, and government officials in Mexico. Now, Congresswoman Veronica Escobar speaking with KTSM after touching down in the U.S., saying topics covered included the fentanyl crisis and security issues. But a topic Escobar says she discussed with her Republican colleagues is that the majority of guns used by the Mexican cartels come from the United States. An assault weapons ban uh, would go a long way in helping address that. The, the police in Mexico are frequently outgunned because of the guns that the cartels get from the United States. Now, Senator John Cornyn sending a statement regarding the visit that reads in part, quote, our delegation made a clear to President Lopez Obrador that his administration must do more to address these issues so that we can maintain our historically strong economic and cultural partnership. Now, another topic that was discussed was immigration and about people from other countries purchasing one-way tickets to Mexico with the intention of then crossing to the United States. We'll have more on that coming up at 6. Reporting live near the U.S.-Mexico border, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News.